Good morning, current time 545. Uh, some new updates coming in with our snowfall. It looks like we're still looking at some heavy snow across western and southwestern Montana, but we're getting some drier air and that's going to slow some of those projections, especially for the Bozeman area. Still through Saturday evening, we're still pushing the eight inch mark uh, at that point and visibility is definitely an issue. We have a live look at uh, Bozeman Pass this morning, uh, definitely dealing with some slick conditions. You can see that snow is flying. This is going to make uh, visibility and driving conditions very difficult. As far as the amounts on uh, on Bozeman Pass, uh, five inches, pretty solid, uh, according to Chet Lehman, who's live there. Again, coverage that you're only going to get right here uh, on this station. Snow covered roads, Bozeman Pass, an uh, accident on I-90 westbound, semi off the road between Bear Canyon and East Main. That's going to cause delays uh, beyond what we're dealing it with with the snow. Uh, reports on Norris Hill, it is very tough driving mainly because of visibility um, and some of the icy conditions. You'll probably have to deal with that. And remember, there's still wildlife on the area roadways. Another look at Bozeman Pass this morning. Again, uh, the snow is flying pretty good and the, uh, the, the blades are coming across the ground, but uh, we're still seeing that snow piling up. This is along 191, the Gallatin Canyon, uh, the Karst area, and definitely dealing with that heavy snow. So if your travels are taking you between Bozeman and Big Sky, expect delays. Uh, we we still have winter weather concerns across the area, uh, a smattering of those uh, for the next couple of days. So this snow isn't going to end real quickly. Our temperature right now sitting at 29 degrees. Scattered snow showers expected throughout the day. The out the door cast off and on snow showers. I do expect the snow to let up for both Bozeman and Butte as we head through the morning hours but it's going to surge again as you get into the evening and that will really uh, make issues a little more difficult again uh, during the overnight hours. You can see things are really clearing out across parts of northern Gallatin County back toward Butte um, and back into the Madison Valley, but that moisture once again surging back into the areas. Uh, here's a couple of uh, key pieces of information here. One to two inches. This is by about 1030 this morning. Uh, latest model run for Bozeman about a trace, maybe an inch out toward Butte through the morning, but it's going to consistently be light snow during the mid part of the day. By the time you head into the evening, that next surge moves in and that's going to make tomorrow morning very difficult as well. So not only are you going to have to deal with slick conditions throughout the day today, we're probably going to be dealing with scattered snow showers once again uh, tomorrow morning and that's going to make it slow. Daytime highs into the 30s. That is prime for snow and I do expect ice overnight as our temperatures drop below the freezing mark. Uh, again, we're looking at off and on snow showers over the course of the next couple of days. So um, really on into the weekend, uh, the potential of slow driving is going to uh, be an issue for us over uh, the next couple of days. So that is something that we're going to have to deal with. Of course, we're continuing to track this. We're going to have live reports from across the area 